singing the national anthem for like sporting events at school and uh, professional events like boxing. I sang, sang the Lakers and um, HBO, Showtime, boxing and MMA fighting. It's, uh, that's where I got my start. And, but growing up, I didn't want anyone to know that I sang. So I, it took a lot of yeah, it took a lot of uh, pressure. When did you grow up? Where did I grow? I grew up in Santa Maria, California, which is about 45 minutes uh, north of Santa Barbara, about two hours from LA. I live in LA now, and I met a group born and raised in California. That's where I've been. Did you do any theater when you grew up? Any theater like? Any theater work? Yeah. Um, I never did any theater work. My my the only my first professional start, like you said, was American Idol, and from then I just did. I, I kind of had. Uh, my own show. So I did like a one-man show. I, I toured all over the United States. I lived in the Philippines and in Asia for a few years and I toured around there. So I kind of had just like my own little show. But I've never done theater, but I've, I would love to get into theater. And in fact, working on Carnival, I might start doing uh, the production shows that you've seen here. Yeah, now, let go to American Idol. American Idol? They ate us through the process. Let's the see. Whole entire thing. <laughs> from start to from <laughs> buying out to um, you know the live shows, everything. Everything. Okay, let's see if I can. This was so long ago. It was back in 2008. Um, I remember auditioning at a big at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. There was about. 15 to 20,000 people there. I spent the night on the street for two days just to audition. So that was what they call the cattle call. And so I made it past through that first audition where there was thousands of people. And once you make it past there, you get to uh, the producer's round and then the executive producer's round. And then it takes a while before you actually get to the judges, which, are, which at the time was Simon, Paul, and Randy. So. It took it took like three auditions before I actually got to the TV the, the TV auditions, and it was great. They all said yes to Hollywood, and I made it all the way. Um, when I made it past Hollywood, then we went to Hollywood Week, which is that that seven day yeah. gruesome process where they make you do. Did you make like that in detail? What is that like? Hollywood Week. Oh, uh, Hollywood Week was gruesome. There was tears and there was sweat and there was lack of sleep, but it was so much fun. We learned so much and it kind of got us prepared for the music industry because that's what it's like. No sleep and, and long hours and singing all day and it was fun, but we got I met so many people that I still keep in touch with yeah, to this like day. Yeah, yeah, like Sanjaya, yeah, I still keep in touch with him. It's great. Jordan Sparks, she's now she's on Broadway in the Heights. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She did some theater. I, I I remember seeing her maybe in 2010 at a at an award show, the American Music Awards, and that was the last time I've seen her yeah. in person and got to catch up just very briefly. But she's doing great things now. Very happy. Would you do Broadway if I wanted you to? I would love to do Broadway. <laughs> And I heard that you that you got a chance to audition or uh, 
interview the cast of the Aladdin, yeah. the Aladdin cast. Yeah. Aladdin is like my dream role. <laughs> if there's any role I could do in Broadway, I don't have the experience, but I would love to do Aladdin. I would love to do yeah. Aladdin. <laughs> um, now, how did you come to the Carnival Glory? And how long are you an electric in the groove? On the con, on the glory. glory. Um, I've been with Carnival for about a year and a half now. This is my third ship. I started on the Fascination. My last ship was the Splendor, and now I'm here, here on the Glory. And I've been with, oh, with Electric City Group. With Electric City Group, we just started here on the Glory together in August, August of this year, 2015, and we leave together December 2015. So we're not here for very much longer, but. The process is uh, Carnival just kind of puts us together in a group. We all have agents, or some of us work directly with Carnival, and they put us together and pray for magic and hope that we can gel and, and sound good. You went Kara. Oh. Yeah, Kara is amazing. Kara Smith, she is one of the best singers I've ever worked with. She actually has a huge uh, repertoire in her belt. She went to uh, Berkeley School of Music in Boston and she studied uh, musical therapy. So she's traveled all over uh, Africa to, to help kids with musical therapy, with special needs, and, and to help those uh, in need of, you know, the, the less fortunate she's helped with that, with music. And that's kind of her core base of what she does with music, but she has one of the most amazing voices that I've ever heard. So I'm yeah, really yeah. proud and happy. With Are you going to be fine with Carnival or another? Um, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do next after this. I've been approached to do, um, you know, you, uh, you guys have been here on The Glory for a bit now. Right. And did you see, did you get to see the shows in the theater? Yeah. Like Motor City and Latin Nights. Yeah. Um, I've been approached to start doing those shows. So as much as I love show band and Electric City Groove, I think for me, um, I want to try something new and challenge myself and, and maybe this will be... Yeah. The playlist production, yeah, they're amazing. They're great, yeah. Such good friends of mine and they kind of inspired me to want to try to do that and put myself out there. And maybe that'll open doors for theater and I could, I could be Aladdin one day. Yeah. <laughs> Give him your uh, card when he goes uh, there. Yeah, that'd be great. They'll put it yeah. in the <laughs> I've been mad so many times. Yeah, five times and I know you again. You're going again? That one time I got stuck in the elevator. Oh no! Going up to a dressing room. And one of the directors got into the elevator and said, Jesse, what floor are you going to today? That's amazing. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank you for doing this. Oh. And if you happen to come on the glory, you must be electric in the group at 8.15, 8.40. You got it. And what the other, <laughs> what the other, and 9.30, 11 o'clock. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.